Oh, the chase qualifier is next in, the SO7 chase qualifier. Two miles and six furlongs again, I would think. And then all of the same distance, yep. Two miles and six furlongs, 0 to 110 again. And the top one is Elsa Fia Miller for Thomas Rogers trying to get an SO7 qualifier double. Into win for David Hooley, whistling Sarah for Darren Thompson. Akin item half, James Shea. First prize, Ryan Tamasebi. St. Jude, Paul Rhodes, Royal Optic, Martin Leadham. Heartburns, Ryan Costello. Mataleb Strider for Martin Leadham. Annie Walker, Thomas Rogers. And double diamond, Graham Clutterbuck. So, one or two of the big name trainers in this, which is surprising considering it's a 0 to 110. And... All standing quietly at the start as we fly straight past them. And we're back again. And away we go. And they make their way down towards the first of the fences in this then. And over it they go. And Graham Clutterbuck's horse didn't jump in all that brilliantly. Double diamond. But still on its feet. And going okay. And as they race down towards the second of the 14, Elsa Fia Miller in the green jacket on the outside. Just about in front from Whistling Sarah. As they get to the second, which they're all safely over. Annie Walker just struggling a little bit at the back. But Aconitum Half has now come through to take it up. So Aconitum Half of Whistling Sarah and then El Sophia Miller with Mataleb Strider in to win the two in the purple jacket. Next, then Double Diamond is recalled from that mistake. St. Judy's after that one, then Royal Optic. And then Annie Walker on the outside. Heartburns is just about the back marker. And first prize is also towards the back. What a long way to go yet. And Aconitum Half and Whistling Sarah are disputing the lead, and they're a good two and a half lengths clear of Double Diamond, who's going well enough now after that early mistake. Mataleb Strider in the purple jacket closest to us. The purple jacket on the rail is in to win. And you two in the green. There are Elsa Fia Mella closest to us. And oh, and the one that's just fallen, St. Jude. So. Paul Rhodes horse gave that an almighty wallop and the jockey had absolutely no chance as they get to the fourth. So we've lost just the one so far. And Aconitum Half is in the lead from Whistling Sarah. And Annie Walker who's come from absolutely nowhere into third as they get to the fifth. Which they're all safely over. He's in away from us again with Whistling Sarah in front, Aconitum Half second. Then Wider Matrack, Annie Walker and Mataleb Strider. Double Diamond is after that one and then a gap to Royal Optic who's on the far side, El Sophia Miller in the centre and the one down on this near side rail now is in to win the back to a first prize and heartburns as they make their way again, this strange track where they run around the outside rather than the inside and Whistling Sarah is in front, I don't know why they do that but they do and anyway Whistling Sarah's in front Back an item half as they get to this ditch and he's gone. The leader's gone there. Went slightly out of shot. We didn't quite catch it, but we just saw the flash of the jockey disappearing. And that one is out of the race as well. So the leader's gone. And back an item half has been left in the lead. With a couple of loose horses for Gumper that could get interesting as they take the next. That's the seventh. That's half the jumping done. And they've still got a long way to go yet. And Aconitum Half is in the lead, surrounded by loose horses. Then comes Esther Fia Miller and Double Diamond and Mataleb Strider. And then Annie Walker and Inter Wind. Then a bit of a gap back to Royal Optic and First Prize. A mistake there by Mataleb Strider. Hart Burns is just getting a little bit detached at the back as they caught them past the stand. And they'll be passing the winning post shortly. And then they'll be swinging off left-handed for a complete circuit. And it's Aconitum Half who's going to be hoping he doesn't get hampered by those two loose horses. Double Diamond likewise in second. Then comes in to win on the inside of Annie Walker and Elsa Fia Miller. Then Mataleb Strider and first prize. And Heartburns is the one that probably looks out of it already. But it's Aconitum Half in front. Aconitum Half in the lead then. Looks like Double Diamond is the one who's been hampered most by those two loose horses. Into win is also going to find them a little bit of a menace as he tries to pull out as they get over number nine. And they're all over that one safely. Field beginning to bunch. El Sophia Mella just hit a bit of a flat spot after that one as they get over the next. Good jump by Into win on the inside. Has took it up the inside of the loose horses. Also making a forward move now. His first prize, but it's still Aconitum half in the lead. Into win his second. First prize on the inside. Then double diamond. Danny Walker, Royal Optic. Matlib Strider's lost his place. And he's gone there. That one's gone. First prize has gone on the inside. I don't know whether that was the loose horses that were hampering him that made that happen, but the jockey got out the side door. And it's Aconitum half in the lead from Interwind second, Double Diamond third, Royal Optic four, Annie Walker is five and Mataleb Str
trying to six. Matalib trying to technically wind this on the track, but going the shortest way. Then comes El Sofia Mella. Heartburns is going to try and get into it as well as they come down towards the final four furlongs. And suddenly it's all changed. You see these horses on the near side getting a really good split, and it's allowed El Sofia Mella to take it up. Matalib Strider now to be thrown down a big challenge over that ditch. They go. It's El Sofia Mella in the lead from Aconite and half into win. Matalib Strider, Royal Optic, and Annie Walker. Then double diamond. It's between these as they race down towards the final two fences in there. And El Sofia Mella looks like she's got first run, everybody. El Sofia Mella is in the lead over the second last. Into win over its second. Then Aconite and half over it in third as they race away again. It's El Sofia Sophia Mella in to win. Aconitum half. It's between these three. I think now Royal Optics one pace. So too is Double Diamond. It's in to win. Back in the lead. At point of the final fence. Jumps in really well. Aconitum half gets over it nicely on the inside. But it's in to win. In to win from Aconitum half. Aconitum half is fighting back as they race in the final half. Well, Aconitum half is beginning to get up. And Aconitum half takes it into win second. El Sophia Mella and Annie Walker close for third and fourth. Then Double Diamond. Royal Optic and Matalib Strider after that one. And Aconitum half just getting back up to take it. Why about a neck in the end from Inter Win? Looks like it could be another one for James Shea. I think he's already had two today. It is indeed James Shea. Aconitum half the winner. Inter Win for David Hooley was second. Thomas Rogers third and fourth with El Sophia Miller and Annie Walker. And Double Diamond for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth.